what if you don't want your employees just clocking in anywhere? ATC offers five location restriction options, including IP address, a browser lock, and a downloadable vault program. We're gonna talk about each one to help you determine which one will be best for you. If you've decided a location restriction is something you want to apply, let's look at the clock-in restriction page located in the setup menu. We're going to start with the easiest restriction, IP address. Unless your office network is worked on or reset often, IP address is generally the easiest to set up and maintain. If you are currently in the office location, just click Get IP Address. This should populate the IP address your employees will be using to access the website. Then just click Save Changes. If you are not currently in the office location, you can enter the IP address manually. Going forward, if anything happens to your network, the IP address may change, which will lock all employees out from accessing the system. All you need to do is come back to this page and replace the old IP address with the new one. If you're not sure what the new one is, try going to the access report and searching for the words unauthorized access. If any of your employees have tried logging in on the new network IP, it will show here. Just copy the IP, go back to clock in restriction, paste, and save changes. The next restriction option is one that won't apply to you unless you are with State Farm. State Farm reps, subnet group is a restriction that was created for you. Because of your company's constantly rotating IP, the IP address restriction would not be a realistic option. But subnet group was created to recognize the slight difference in most IP changes from the State Farm network. To set this restriction, just click Get Network while accessing the State Farm network, then Save Changes. ETC Vault is a bit different in nature. This is a Windows-only downloadable browser that requires a key code in order to access the login page. To start out, choose ETC Vault and click New Activation. This creates your first code. There are two ways to use ETC Vault. You can either specify what username is allowed to use what computer by utilizing multiple key codes, or you can activate however many computers are needed with one key code and all employees have access to use any of the activated computers. If you are looking for an easier setup with less maintenance, we suggest using all usernames. When using all usernames, you only need to click New Activation one time. Once you have activated a key code, you can click the button to view the system-generated four-digit code. Take note of this code, as it will be needed when installing the program on each computer. Then you can adjust the uses remaining as needed. This tells the system how many computers are allowed to unlock the ETC Vault program using this code. For example, if I have four employees, I will change this number to a four. As each employee downloads the program and uses the key code, it will count down to zero. Later, if I hire a new employee, I can come back to this page and add a one to allow a new use. Remember, you don't have to worry about adding yourself to the uses. The admin login is never restricted, so you can use any browser to log in. Once you have your key code established, you can email instructions on how to download and unlock the Vault program to your employees. The email will contain the designated key code. Alternatively, you as the admin can download the program by following the link on this page or visiting our website, scrolling all the way down to the footer, and clicking ETC Vault. If you are having trouble downloading the program, you may try the manual download. Once downloaded, you or the employee will enter the company login and the key code. When adding employees later, you will return to the clock in restriction page to retrieve the key code. If you are needing to download the program onto another computer, make sure the uses remaining isn't set to zero. Mac users, 
If you are needing a restriction that works in a similar way to ETC Vault, you may try Authorized Browser. This restriction unlocks specific browsers on specific computers using a cookie. For example, if I have Chrome, IE, and Firefox on my computer and my admin unlocks Chrome, then I can only use Chrome to log in. But this doesn't mean Chrome is unlocked on my coworker's computer. A browser on their computer would need to be unlocked in order for them to log in using their computer. Because the specific restriction relies on cookies, if your employee's computers or browsers are set to clear the cookies periodically, this restriction won't be a good fit. Similar to Vault, Authorized Browser unlocks browsers with a password. However, there is no way to limit the amount of uses. This means if you were to provide the password to your employees, they would be free to unlock any browser on any computer, including computers outside of the office. So if using this restriction, the admin will probably want to unlock each employee's browser in order to keep the password confidential. To set up this restriction, first create a password. Then, if you are on the computer you want to unlock, click the Grant Access link. Otherwise, go to the computer you are wanting to unlock, access our login page, and click the Auth Browser link. Enter the company login and the established password. Now employees can utilize this browser for logging in. If you are wanting to restrict based on a geofence, you will want to use the mobile app GPS restriction. This restriction is much different than the others. The GPS restriction only pertains to the mobile app. This means if an employee accessed the website on a browser, they would not be restricted in any way. For more information and instruction on mobile app GPS tracking and restriction, please refer to the ETC mobile app video.